So I'm, I'm really excited to, to tell you a little bit about web development today and in this workshop <laughs> series. Uh, before I get started, I just want to point you all to a website, um, hackersatcambridge.com slash workshops slash web dev. So this has everything that I'm going to be telling you in these workshops, including um, the code I write. So if, if you ever want to get a closer look at the things that I'm writing, you can copy and paste it, all the notes, um, further reading in case you're interested. Uh, so this is a good place, good place to go. It looks a little something like this. Um, and you can scroll through and read at your own leisure. So as well, if you, are, if, you, if you want to go a bit slower than I'm going or a bit faster than I'm going, you can go at your own pace by reading through these notes. Over the course of these workshops, what I'd like to give you is the ability to make your own website. Um, walking through all the different aspects that is. Now, not only is it going to be the ideas about how you write code, um, as I'm sure all of you are wanting to do, um, but it's also about how you might think about web design and some of the tools that you might want to use when creating websites that isn't necessarily writing code. And finally, we also want you to be able to publish your own website so you get a URL um, that you can point people towards. Now, the first thing I want to talk about today is this idea of let's not write any code just yet. Let's start thinking about what the web is, why we are making websites, and you know, what all the purposes are. So, I want to pose a question uh, for you guys to, to think about for a moment. And that is, what is the web for? You know, all the things you use it for, can you, can you sort of distill it down to a fundamental use? Now, I want to tell you today that the original purpose of the web, now it's changed a bit, um, is to distribute information. So that was the dream. You know, all of human knowledge finally accessible at humanity's fingertips um, connected in a, web, in a web of interconnected documents, hence World Wide Web. You could click a link on one and springboard yourself to another. Um, and through that, you could learn. You could find out what's happening. And that was, that was really, really exciting. So the definition of the web has kind of shifted a little bit since then. We see uh, concepts like you can play computer games on the web now. You can use the web to create stuff like images or do your taxes. Um, but today we'll be focusing on, on this, this use right here, to distribute information. Um, and with that, it would be useful from now on to sort of be critical when you're using the web. When you see websites, you know, how do they make you feel? Uh, do you, can you find out what you're looking for very easily? Or is it difficult? Does the website make you angry for some reason? Or is it good to look at? Or is it ugly to look at? Um, and then, you know, if you notice these reactions that you're having to a particular website, you can ask yourself why. For the good reasons, you can say, I want to steal those ideas. And for the bad reasons, for the bad things, you want to say, all right, I want to avoid those things. So as an example, um, pretty, pretty brief example, we can look at a website that we're going to be returning to later, um, which is this website called MDN Web Docs. Um, it's made by Mozilla. Um, and you can you know, analyze it for some of the features that are common to websites. Now, this isn't going to be a course about web design, because we could spend a long time on that. Um, but you know, briefly going through this, we have some features like we have navigation up the top here, um, and that's how you springboard to a whole bunch of different, uh, a whole bunch of different parts. We have the name of the website up the top left here. Um, we have this big block um, on the home page, which is bright and colourful, and has an explanation of what this website is. Um, that's called a hero. Um, and in this hero, we've got a few things that you might want to do as a first-time visitor: a big search bar, some links for for common actions. And as we go down, we find some other sort of content that they deem is useful to be surfaced, including blog posts um, and a pitch to, to get involved. So um, you, know, you can start to analyze all these different bits and pieces. And not all, web, not all websites are perfect, and not all websites are terrible. They usually lie somewhere in between. Personally, I think NDN is a pretty good website um, for, for what I use it for. But as an example, I get frustrated at times because um, I find for example, there are, two website, there are two pages on the website with a similar name. And I'm looking for a particular piece of information. And it's lying on one of those two pages. Um, and from the name, I can't really decide what it is. So I get confused. So I would, if I was making a website, I'd want to avoid that. Um, so these are all things that you'd want to you know, think about when you're using the web and you're making your own websites. So moving on from that, um, what I want you to take away from this first section <laughs> is 
think a little bit before you, you, you dive in. So we're here to learn how to make websites, but we're here to learn how you guys want to make your own websites. Um, so the, thing, the, the best thing that you can do is, is think of something that you want to make a website for. This could be a project that you've been involved in recently, a cause that you're particularly passionate about, or if you're struggling for ideas, you could do what we call a personal website, which is basically your personalized homepage on the internet. Um, lists something about you, some things you're interested in, some of the things you've done. Um, it's a great place to start if you're struggling for ideas about what to make a website for. But if you have an idea um, off the top of your head, then I'd really recommend going for it. As well as knowing like what you're going to make, think a little bit about what you want to make it look like. This doesn't need to be sophisticated um, or intricate. Um, you don't need to use complicated tools, although you can if you want. Um, pen and paper will suffice. Or even an image in your head will, will be OK. In my case, um, I'm going to use this little tool called AWW, um, and it's a little online whiteboard. Now, I want to design a website about web design tips. Um, fairly simple example, um, but I'm just going to sketch out what I want it to look like. So I really liked that um, Hero thing that the Mozilla website had. So I'm going to draw my own little box here. And this is going to be my Hero. Um, and inside it, I'm going to put, uh, let's say, web design tips. And that'll be my header. See, what I'm doing is, is something very rough. Um, nothing too specific. Nothing that's going to commit me to make something that looks exactly like this in the future. Um, but just me getting my ideas onto paper. So next, I'm going to say, all right, below that Hero, I think I'd like a video. Um, I don't know what it's going to be about, but a video could help capture my user a little bit. And then after the video, I want to do a little bit of writing. So I want to write some text, roughly about web design. And then beneath that, what I'm looking for is maybe some links to web design resources. And I want those to be nice, pretty buttons. So what I'll do is I'll draw these boxes, and I'll pretend they're, they're links. And then, um, let's say at the bottom, this is going to come become clearer when we, when we go into some of the other the tools that we have. But I actually want something that generates colors um, for my users um, to help them with their with their web design. So I'm going to put a little box here, and I'm just going to put a label on this and call it um, color creator. And that'll make more sense later. I have an idea in my head. I'm just putting this down here so I can remember it. And I'd encourage you to you to do the same. So. Again, what I want you to take away from this section is have a little bit of a thought about what you want to make before you get into it.